What's going on everyone? It's the old gaming log here with some Black Ops 2 gameplay and I have the April 10th 2013 patch notes for you guys here. Now I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can click on it and read all through it. But I'm going to go through it in this video as well in case you don't want to read it and you just want to know what's going on and what is what. Uh, so first of all, added prestige level calling cards for each prestige level. Yes, these are the new calling cards that they have added for each prestige level. This is something they should have added since the beginning of the game. Uh, there it is, it's on the screen. You guys can click on the image right now and it takes you to a bigger picture. So you, you guys can see this in big instead of just seeing it on the screen. So there's obviously 15 new calling cards. Uh, sadly enough, none of them are animated even though we wish there were. And and sadly enough, none of them are came up with the game, which I think they should have. Now, this is not a DLC. This is free. Everybody's gonna have it with this patch. And they finally added to the game, which they should have. Uh, they should have added in the game in the first place, not uh, not just added it on the DLC, but w on this patch. But whatever, you know, it's here now. It's what what it matters. Um, Let's move on to, to what else they fixed uh, on the feature improvements that they've added. Players will now control the last score streak called when calling in multiple remote controllable score streaks. Updated the league lobbies to display the team's rank next to, e to each team's member's name. Added the suicide and team kill penalties to the game rules spawn settings menu for custom games. Added a feature to kick players if they suicide too often in a game. Great. Uh, that, that's actually one of that I was uh, waiting to see. Let's go on to the multiplayer issues that have been addressed. Uh, so first and foremost, we have fixed an issue reported by the community where the load star view remains on screen if the VTOL warship is destroyed after being previously kicked from the VTOL uh, due to friendly fire. Updated menus to the combat exploits reported by the community. Addressed the persistent counter UAV issue that occurred during host migrations. Fixed an issue reported by the community where the player was not earning any progress for the Chopper Hunter Field Specialist Challenge. Fixed an issue reported by the community where the C4 was doing no damage to enemies if blown up to the moment it attaches to the surface. Yes, they finally fixed the infamous C4 glitch. Yes. Addressed an issue reported by the community with activating prestige on a weapon was not removing attachments from that weapon in their class sets. I'll explain this glitch a little bit. Uh, basically, if you had, if you before you prestige your weapon, you make a class, choose that weapon, choose whatever attachments you want to put on it, and put those attachments. Then you obviously go to another class and prestige that weapon. After the we that weapon is prestige, you go back to the class you first created, and all the attachments would be um, on that weapon still, even though it was prestige and you wouldn't have access to them. That was a glitch uh, was popular amongst the community, and they finally uh, fixed it up. So they do pay attention to the community in a way or another. Alright, let's go on. Prestige Master icon can now be seen as the next prestige when players reach max le prestige level and then you basically display how much ex XP you're gonna get to that. Uh, resolve an issue with the orbital VSAT score street losing time during the host migration countdown. Resolve the collision issue on grind which caused the player to become stuck on the vert ramp. Fix an issue where players were able to place a turret while under the big rig in aftermath. Address a couple of issues with the sentry gun and AGR score streak tablets remaining open when the player transitions to the score streak while it is being destroyed. The attachments menu in the after action report now indicates the XP a player earns from leveling up a weapon. Resolved an issue where players would lose control of a sentry gun if they take control of it while it's being destroyed. Fix an issue with the turret and guard placement within certain objects in aftermath. Improved performance in theater when a player previews a clip over and over again with while the clips is in timeline editor are maxed out. Fixed an issue with the environment disappearing when dying uh, and spectating the water in carrier. The music now plays for everyone during the final kill cam. Fixed an issue in theater where the camera viewed under the map while watching players that had not spawned in. Resolved an issue with the AGR icon not only appearing on the minimap when it was firing both the machine gun and the rockets at the same time. Resolved an issue with the victory defeat screen not accurately displaying the amount of XP a player had earned in objective based game modes in combat training. Let's move on to what other ones we have here. Address an issue with the chat notification not appearing on the in game screen for players who were speaking in party chats. Fix an animation issue with the combat knife. When holding aim down sight pressing the melee attack button. Resolved an inconsistency in the emblem editor with the way emblems were di being displayed between profiles. Resolved an issue with the player channel where deleted screenshots and edited fields were appearing as an error when viewed by other players. 
addressed an issue in the league play slide menu where the career win stat was not updating for previous seasons when the player had not yet been placed. Fixed an issue with the game settings update prompt being cut off when choosing to update after the idle screen fade out. Resolved an issue with the gondolas on downhill continued to move down after host migration. Fixed an issue with the emblems or on player cards viewed from the in-game scoreboard showing corruption. Addressed an issue in search and destroy, where players would sometimes spawn into the next round with their secondary weapon. Resolve an endless loading prompt uh, to connect to Twitch when attempting to unlink and relink accounts with no login information. Resolve an UI issue with rapidly using like and dislike on user generated content. Fix an issue with the equipped DLC reticle displaying the wrong preview reticle when going from a DLC reticle to any other reticle equipped on another person. Weapon, rather. Uh, let's move on to gameplay balancing adjustments. Adjusted hijacked engine room hardpoint zone to extend to ladders. Lighting strike radar will not reactivate after round change if it hasn't been used in the previous round. Global enemy spawn influences adjusted. Yes, finally. So the spawn systems have been messed up a little bit more and hopefully they have been adjusted more to, you know, be better than what they are right now because they're not that good. Uh, adjusted objective spawn influencers and capture the flag. Now, uh, there's two zombie issues that has been addressed, and I'll obviously explain here what. Uh, fix the new error that occurred on turns, and resolve various bugs around the die rise map. So, this is all the that I got for you guys. Link will be in the description where you can read it all for yourself, or I just read it to you, in case you're too lazy to read it. And, uh, Right, so there's a few things here that they still haven't fixed and because we haven't seen a PlayStation 3 patch yet and we should see one in a few days because the micro DLC will actually be on P PSN uh, in a couple of days, I believe. I think it will be the 12th uh, that it was it was going to be on. So I believe it will be seen in a few days. And this is a triple kill. It deserves a like in the video, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so we should see a patch pretty soon for the PS3. Now, this patch on the Xbox 360 is to prepare uh, players as well for uh, for this new upcoming uh, map pack, to number two that's going to come, the Uprising map pack. Uh, but it also adds some stuff and fixes other stuff, of course. Uh, we should see it on the PS3. At least we should see a patch soon enough on the PS3 because it obviously, and I don't know why I just lost this gun gunfight, whatever. Uh, because we obviously going to see the micro DLC coming soon and we should see the uh, map pack number two DLC coming next month. Guys, this is all that I got for you. Leave me your comments, opinions on the comment section below with everything that you guys want to know. Again, if you want to leave it a like, a thumbs up, go for it. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, again, you want to subscribe if you want to know more about the game. And yeah, this has been pretty much it. And I, although I was playing with the shotgun on this game, I don't usually I'm a bit out of my comfort zone, to be quite honest, and that was the final kill. I'm a bit out of my comfort zone with shotguns because I don't really usually play with them, but I d didn't do so bad. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys next one. Peace.